This is the Dixon Gallery and Gardens. It's an art museum in Memphis, Tennessee, with 17 acres of beautiful gardens outside. Inside, you can find art from all over the world. We have paintings, drawings, sculptures, and the art is always changing. We put together several art exhibitions every year where we borrow art from artists and museums and bring it here to the Dixon Gallery for our community to enjoy. But after a few months, when the artwork comes down, we send it to another museum or back to who we borrowed it from and we get something different. Outside, we have beautiful gardens that are full of flowers, plants, and trees, and we can grow things all year long thanks to the use of our greenhouses. We have lots of statues in the gardens too, so there's art outside as well as inside. The best part about visiting the Dixon is that there's always something new to see, and admission is free. It doesn't cost anything to go to this wonderful museum. Right now at the Dixon, we have Black Artists in America, from Civil Rights to the Bicentennial. This show opened in October 22nd of 2023, and we'll have it until January 14th of 2024. This exhibition is a celebration of African-American artists living here in America who created some amazing pieces of art. Oftentimes, these artists used their talent to lobby for change in America. They wanted to fight for equal rights for black and white artists. There are so many amazing pieces of art in the show, but today we're going to learn about just one artist and look at the painting that we have at the museum. The artist we're learning about today is named David Clyde Driscoll. He was born in 1931. He passed away in 2020. David Clyde Driscoll was an abstract artist, and he came from a family of artists. Driscoll's grandfather was a sculptor, his father was a painter, and his mother was a quilter and a basket maker. Driscoll was originally born in Georgia, and he and his family moved to North Carolina when he was five. While he was growing up, he had to attend segregated schools, which meant that the black students and the white students were separated. He didn't always get the opportunities to make art and to learn about art that the white students did in his town. Driscoll knew that he wanted to be an artist, and he attended Howard University in Washington, D.C., and he got his bachelor's degree in art. He studied painting and history, and then started studying art history as well. Not only was he an artist, but he taught at colleges and universities. He taught at a college in Alabama, then went back to school and got his Master's of Fine Arts. He became an Associate Professor of Art at Howard University, and there he was able to help a whole new generation of black artists with their artwork and finding places to show their talents at museums and galleries. Driscoll loved to paint, to draw, to collage, and to print make and he would often use all of those ways of making art in his artwork. Driscoll was an abstract artist, which means that his artwork didn't always look very realistic, but he would take things from real life and then he would use his imagination to change them so that they would look very interesting. He loved to use color and line in his artwork. This work of art is called Woman with Flowers and it's on view at the Dixon Gallery and Gardens in the Black Artists of America exhibition. In this work of art, Driscoll used painting and collage. You can see these small pieces of paper that have been added to the canvas, and he's painted on top of them as well as around. This work of art is almost like two portraits because the face is split right down the middle. Remember, if you want to go see this painting, plus all the other amazing artists and black artists in America, you can visit the Dixon for free until January 14th. Today, we're going to make a work of art that's inspired by David Clyde Driscoll. We'll be making a collage. And just like in David Clyde Driscoll's art, we're going to layer different papers and add our own color. The first step is for us to use our collage materials. Collage is a French word that means to glue. In art, it's when you take pieces of paper, or cloth, or photographs, and you glue them together to make a new work of art. Today, we'll be using some pieces of magazines and some colorful paper to create our collage.
First up, you're going to take your layers of magazine and paper and we're going to cover this whole piece of white paper. You'll use scissors to trim off any extra pieces and glue to lay them side by side. Try to cover up all of the white spaces. If you see an image that you like, you can cut it out with your scissors. Try not to use all of the same kind of paper. It's a lot more interesting if you use different magazines and different colors to add a lot of variety into your artwork. If your paper is too long, simply trim it off with your scissors. Keep layering until you don't see any of your white paper. Now that you've got all of your magazine and paper pieces cut out, let's glue them down. Once your collage is finished, we're going to add another layer. Remember, David Clyde Driscoll loved to add lots and lots of layers in his artwork. And in the Woman with Flowers painting we have at the Dixon, not only did he use magazines, but he also painted on top of that. Today, we're using a piece of plastic, and on it has been printed different pictures of flowers and plants. You're gonna choose your image, and we're gonna use some double-sided tape to stick it on top of your collage. Then, you can use permanent markers to add your color. The darker colors work best. You can go back and you can even add some extra details around the flowers. If you don't have a printed picture of a flower, you can even draw your own. But the more color you add, the better. That's it. Now we've made a mixed media collage just like David Clyde Driscoll. I hope you've enjoyed making this project, and I hope you'll come and visit the Dixon soon. Remember, it's free. The address is 4339 Park Avenue in Memphis, Tennessee. I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for creating with me.